This morning, a mystery on the moon, captivating some on social media. If you know who owns the rocket that hit the moon, tag that person. But puzzling astronomers for a different reason. We just don't understand why it created a double crater. New images from NASA show two craters were created when a rocket body crashed into the moon's surface in early March. Measuring more than 90 feet wide together, these craters are much smaller than those left by previous collisions, and those were all found solo. I don't know if that's ever going to be explained, to be honest with you. Most spent rockets are basically an empty fuel tank, carrying most of their mass at the motor end. But NASA says the unexpected double crater means this rocket's body may have had a large mass at both ends. And unlike dozens of previous collisions, this one was unplanned. How common is it for something to hit the moon unintentionally? It's very uncommon. This is the first time that we know of. The rocket body was first believed to belong to SpaceX and now China, which officials in the country deny. This mystery unfolding as the moon orbits back into the spotlight. That's one small step for man. The U.S. was the first to send a man to the moon in 1969. And now NASA is preparing to make history again. We are returning to the moon. This time, sending the first woman and person of color. With the dress rehearsal complete, the rocket overnight rolling off the launch pad and getting one step closer to liftoff. Fire. And as travel to the moon picks up again, experts say accountability and understanding of things left behind is more important than ever. Should people care? Does it matter? So as we put more stuff into the moon orbit, and that's going to become more important, you know, 65 years from now, we don't want to cause the same problems we caused here on Earth and take it out to the moon, right? We should think about the future. We shouldn't pawn this off on our kids. And you can actually see the Artemis rocket just over my shoulder. It is making its way back here uh, to undergo some repairs before its first uh, unmanned mission later this year. It might look tiny behind me, but it is actually taller than the Statue of Liberty. And a fun fact, Artemis is actually the cousin of Apollo. Oh, Kristen Peter. Did not yeah, know that. I did not know well, that either. For the what a great live shot. Way, nice job this morning. Well done. We're so happy to have you making your first appearance here on Saturday today. You've done a great job throughout, and we're happy that you're part of our family. Yeah, welcome, Priscilla. Thank you. I'm very excited. And what a cool first assignment. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. It doesn't get much better Enjoy than that. Enjoy this holiday weekend. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.